So how to study physics or when and where to start physics, how to make uh, good marks in this very less time and uh, what are all the things to be concentrated or how or what are the ways by which I can score more marks. These are all the questions which is in my social media from every student. So let me answer with few tips by which you can increase your marks because the real frame is we got very less time. In this very less time you need a right strategy and right path to increase your marks. Let's see few tips by which you can increase your marks. So before going to that welcome to my channel Inspiring Brains. This is Harry completed physiotherapy currently doing third year MBBS and then part time biology faculty. So the tips first tip is understand the concept. So whenever or whatever the subject you are taking for example physics say current electricity or anything just scan few pages right you have to understand what are all the headings and subheadings that is present inside the chapter because when a question comes in the neat exam at least you have to point out like, like in which chapter the question belongs that's very important matter because half of the students doesn't know uh, what chapter does the question belongs to so understand the topics okay these are all about charges or these are all about electricity these are all the subtopics from these only the questions so understand the basic things from when the, which the question comes for example this is current electricity so in this lesson we are going to study about the flow of charges electric current then ohm's law <coughs> then drift velocity and of course mobility then there are some graphs then this is color coded things like bb Rai, great britain very good women so here there are some graphs so energy power electrical energy power then combination of resistors like series and parallel then cells emf and internal resistance so again cells in series and parallel kirchhoff's rules kirchhoff's law first and second law then wheatstone bridge meter bridge and potentiometer so now i understand that what are the topics that will be covered in this current electricity and what are be the sums that that should be present in these topics right second is formula list make your form own formula list say whatever you are studying you just arrive some conclusions right so these are all the epic formulas which you can use directly into your problems and get the answers write those formulas in a fresh sheet with your topic ahead and you should complete all the formulas in a single sheet that's very mandatory don't write each and everything write the things which you need to be uh, remembered or which you need to be memorized and repeated revision is needed right so in a single sheet write all the formulas for example <clears throat> this is my formula book for uh, current electricity so i just have noted for voltage division and current division rule and kirchhoff's current law is also called as law of conservation of charges and current i is equal to naivid so that's a technique and semiconductors there are some rules and internal resistance during charging and discharging and cells in series with the internal resistance as well as the two in series and parallel so this is my formula book for revision of current electricity third trick is second page technique so in the second technique i just told there is a formula sheet right the next page of the formula sheet should be blank that's called a second page what is the need of this blank is very simple whenever I am attending some questions or whatever my teacher says regarding the chapter or whatever the tricks I got from solving the things that should be written in that second page that's very 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 important the things you acquired from solving the chapter should be written in this page for example if I got a special thing which I'll forget in a due course of time should be written in that page so frequent revision will increase the target right so this is called a second page technique so for example so this is the formula list on the next page i just left it out for free and after solving all these questions what i'll do is so these are all the things which i actually got from solving the questions so and i just write it so conditions for current to be maximum in series and parallel and bulbs in series lower watt bulb will get more current and glow brighter whereas in parallel it will be opposite and there are some circuit connection and there will be equivalent resistance so these are all the things which i got from solving the questions and i just noted down in the second page 
so the first page is for formula and the second page for the things which i got through solving the things fourth trick is attending previous year question so once you done all these things just revise the formulas then go to the previous year questions say previous year question in each chapter regarding the physics there will be subtopics right or oh, six to seven subtopics per chapter will be present and at least you should attend 10 to 12 questions from each subtopic that's very important 10 to 12 questions and when you attend the questions you acquire something right some important tricks or some important shortcuts or some important things that you can uh, easily shade from the questions itself write those important points in the second page and the second thing you have to do is mark some important questions sir how i can calibrate the importance it's very simple if i solve this one questions then remaining questions should be easy so mark the questions like those so from each topic mark two or three questions not more than three right two or three questions from each subtopic of the chapter this is very important for the final revision right and the question uh, the uh, the point of choosing the question is that questions will have to help you to solve the entire thing right this is all about previous year questions so for example this is current electricity <coughs> and uh, it is actually subdivided into many subtopics and each subtopics is having 22 to 30 questions and i have to solve at least 10 to 15 questions from each and this is a book of previous year questions just take it for example and you can uh, use any of the books any of the previous year bo books you can use i just took it from the internet but you can take any of the books and when you see there are some red color markings right so these are all the questions i just marked <coughs> so that i can attend it again so during my second revision i'll attend these sums and these sums will give the idea for other sums to get the answer so for every topic i just mark some of the important things the last technique but very important technique is revise it's very simple once you've done the four techniques correctly it will be very 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 easy for you sit back take your note first study the first page the formula list then go with the second page the things which you acquire from solving the previous year questions that's it your chapter revision is over then do the sums which you marked In the last technique i told right mark the questions which tells you about the other sums just follow those thumbs that's it so once you finish this revision is also over and you can maximize your marks in all the chapters rather than wasting times in solving thousands and two thousands of questions so these are all the five important tricks or techniques by which you can maximize or double your physics score and so called the topper strategy and finally the giveaway alert is actually going on and if you want to enroll in it just go through the rules that is given in the telegram and the link is given below in the description and if you want to uh, discuss something just put it in the comment box below we'll disc we'll do in the next video and spare a few seconds in subscribing my channel as a token of appreciation thank you